Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Hi there. This is Fran. This is Ainoa. And welcome home. Mm, again, for again. Christmas. Yay, it's Christmas. So, uh, yes, it's Christmas. As you can see, we already have our Christmas tree. We have a little bit of Christmas decorations everywhere in the house. And the thing is that today, <laughs> we... Yes, that was... Okay. I don't know what I've said. Nothing, you just... <laughs> well, you were like meditating. I'm like, wake up, girl. <laughs> it's meditation time. Hola, Dev. Anyway, so what we're going to be cooking today, or baking, more than we cooking. Ba baking. Baking. It's a pistachio cake. What's the issue with that? Hola, Janet. What's hey, the Jane, you found it. <laughs> Is there an issue with the cake? No. The thing is that every year, as you know by now, we love cooking in this house. And hola, James, Janet, everybody. Hola, Linda. Linda. It's so we, good to see everybody. We love cooking and we love traditions or yeah, rituals, yeah? Yeah, so it is that every year we cook some cakes for our friends. And family and everybody is expecting our cake. And the thing is that uh, we have done chocolate, we've done banana cakes, we've done... Everything. Yeah, everything. But everybody's... Hey, Kathy, you made it. Everybody's favorite is the pistachio cake. So that's what we're going to be cooking today. Today, yes. The pistachio, pistachio cake. I, we have some friends that they say it's the Christmas, pita bleh, Christmas pistachio cake. They're like, okay. It's, it's, if it's just a cake. Yeah, we'll bake it for... <laughs> well, we'll make it uh, often. Make it <laughs> often, but yes, we've done like a two time, two or three times already. I mean, we've been married for about 22, 23. Well, I don't know. I don't know. People just have favorites. Like some people like the lemon lemon cake. Yeah. Ha yeah. So. Did we have we baked that here? No. I don't know if we have. I, I don't think, think we that. haven't. I mean, we anyway, should. Maybe we should. We should. So that's what we're cooking today. Shall we start? Please, Boss? please. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, hola, Wendy. Do you Everybody. Have an apron? Yes, we do. A what? An apron. Yes. An apron. Aprons are ready. You, you can show them our Christmas tree. We show them. Christmas tree last night? Yeah. Hola, hello, everybody. So let me show you our little Christmas decoration. Because we have today uh, the important part of Christmas, which is the nativity. So here at home, we put a very humble nativity scene. We bought this in Seville. Here in Spain, there's a lot, huge tradition of nativities. Remember that we have been a Catholic country. So uh, everybody, or most of the people, we set a Christmas tree and also a little nativity scene that I love this one because it's very humble. It was handmade and it's like, oh, love it, 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 love it. Please make the lemon cake sometime. Sure, yeah, Mary, yeah, we, will. we will. So, uh, oh, by the way, and that's the cake we are going to cook in. The thing is that it has to be in the oven for uh, about how long? It's kind of long. It's about one hour. It's about one hour in the oven. Uh, that's it. So we're going to be... Uh, We've already baked another one. Yes, we have already baked a previous one. And so we'll go we'll... for our neighbor. A what? Neighbor. Yeah, our neighbor will... Yeah. Well, we have to cook like... We have to bake a few. How many do we have this year? I think it's like 21. Or... I, think I mean, for Christmas, we are not baking. No, 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 not today, not today. Today we're only going to do one. But for Christmas, in like in three days, we have to go 20, I think it's 21. I, I'm not going to bake so many this year. Some people will go without a bake cake. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Every year she says the same. No, no, I'm not going to bake we so many. We finish no, doing no. it. No. 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 So they're saying, yes, please, the lemon cake. Susanna, we will. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to be needing today. We're going to need for the pistachio cake. Four eggs, ten ounces of sugar, three and a half of cream, three ounces of butter, seven and a half of flour, baking powder, one teaspoon, and three ounces of pistachios. Okay, so that's, if you want to make a screenshot, that's what you are going to be needing for today. For today. And we, as you can imagine, we always have wow, everything ready. Cold. Okay, so we have... The flour, the sugar, oh, and a pinch of salt. We always put a pinch of salt yep. in all our cakes. Then we have some cream, pistachios. We have melted butter. Okay, we have already melted it. And the eggs. The thing is that to make it look a little bit nicer than just what you have seen, 
We do a little topping. Topping? Is that how you call it? Yeah, so topping, yes. Okay. Like a syrup. So, so it's like a topping. Yeah, syrup, sorry. So we put a little bit of... Um, powder sugar. Powder sugar, lemon juice. And then to, jo to decorate, we have pistachios. But these ones, we have chopped them. Okay? Just with a knife. While these ones, we have made powder out of them. Yeah, right? they, so were, they were real pistachios. They were real pistachios. We just... We just created them. I mean, ouch. Just, uh, did that? Did you say well, yeah. powdered. I don't know. You, we made them we powder. We made them well, some, some sort of a flower. Hola, Karen. Okay. Hi, Karen. Okay. So, this is going to be quite simple. Oh. oh. Look what we bought. Yeah, another, another thingy. We love thingies. And especially, thingy. I love Christmas thingies. So, Christmas thingies. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have all the pots. Everything is Christmas. Okay. So, what do we need? Yes. Um... The thing with this is that you have to follow the steps and, and then you, you cannot just mix it all like, together like that. Uh, this cake is a bit special with that. Um, so. Deb, thank you. It is said grounded pistachios. Yes, grounded, grounded. Yeah, sure, sure, not sure. powdered, grounded. Okay. okay, so we have, on one hand, we put in a big bowl the sugar and the, sugar. the four eggs. The four eggs. And this is going to take a bit long, not, not very long, but it's going to take a while. Yes. Because you have to um, mix very, mix very well. You, you have to mix it really well until it makes sort of a, not, not a meringue, but it, it, you have to put a lot of air into the mix of eggs and sugar. Okay. So you yes. Mix, 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 mix. Generally, he could have this. Yeah, but now I'm the cameraman. But he's the cameraman today. So, uh, as this takes a little bit long, let me get away from the noise. And let me explain to you that Spain is one of the countries where uh, we produce the largest amount of pistachios here in Europe. In fact, we are the second country producing pistachios. That's why we're doing a pistachio cake, okay? Uh, that's one of the things I want to talk about. The other thing is that uh, I have Somebody has sent me a direct message asking me, tell us about the nativity scenes. Well, okay, let me calm down so I can be talking with the nativity scenes. Hola, Monia. Monia Cosa. What about the uh, nativity scenes? Uh, last Tuesday, I did a tour of the nativity scene association here in Pamplona. You can check them either on our YouTube channel or you can go on the feed here on Facebook. The thing is that you have to understand that we have always, always, Spain, uh, from the 1400s, when the Catholic kings ruled Spain, all Spain was a Catholic country, and the nativity scenes were very, very important. Uh, the thing is that uh, here, a very important figure is San Francis of Assisi. San Francis of Assisi, He's the one who started uh, all of this tradition of nativity scenes. And the Franciscan monks, who were super popular in Spain at that time, are the ones who brought them here. We know that in the Isabel, the Catholic queen, she carried every year around a small nativity scene wherever she went around Spain. So we have always had nativity scenes always. Okay, sorry, from the 1400s on. The thing is that uh, all the way on the 18th century, we, we had a king called Charles III of Spain, not of Navarre, who also was a uh, king of Naples. And he went to Naples, the kingdom of Naples. And there, the artists, they loved it. And it's when the big, huge explosion of nativities became super, super important. Okay? Is that he returned back to Spain and he brought an amazing 700 piece uh, Napolitan nativity scene from Naples. Okay? If you want to see that one, the real one, you have to come to Spain during Christmas time and book an uh, entrance to the Ro Spanish royal palace. Okay, so nativity scenes in Spain are in all the city halls, they are absolutely everywhere. Okay, so in Christmas time is one of the beautiful moments to come to Spain. Okay. I know I have sent me. It's done. Okay. So what she has done, this is just the sugar 
and the eggs. And as you can see, it turns out to be it's very, very thick, white right? and it's a little bit thick. Okay? Maybe you should do it with a small spoon that... Yeah, well... Not just for me to give it a try. Yes, you see? What's that? There's not, okay. not a small spoon for you. So what do we add here? Okay. We are, uh, let's say All right, let me go to the other side. I think it's... It's here, maybe. The pinch of salt. Okay. Ah. And uh, we are going to add the, the powder. Grounded ground pistachios. Powder pistachios. Right. And um, the cream. By the way, the cream is not cold. Okay. It's not cold. Room temperature. Hey. Okay. The where are you going? I'm going to leave this there. She just left me. It's like. I love ah. you. Well, I'll be back. Oh, okay. I'm like, where is she going? Hey, boss. Right, and then I mix it a little bit. Okay. By the way, uh, many times when we find a pistachio cake, it is super, super green. Well, guess what? It shouldn't be that green. If you have a very, very green pistachio cake, probably it has some food coloring. Some, some okay? coloring. Because this is pretty much as green as it's going to get. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. So what we are going to do here is shift. Um, sheep, sheep. Sheep. Okay. Well, you want to make sure that the flower has no lumps. And it's got some air, right? This, this flower has got the baking powder inside, so I'm not going to add any more. Okay, so no, in this case, no extra uh, baking powder because this flower already sieved. Thank you, Susanna. Okay, yeah, we, we, they, t they tell us every time and every time I forget. <laughs> but we learn so much. Right, so I'm going to mix it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So always, as we're doing it for friends, and well, this one we're going to eat it ourselves, uh, we don't add any food coloring or anything. If you want... I mean, we personally like... Uh, Super natural, sure organic, nice. very, you know, no extra added anything. I'll leave it here, right? Ooh. No, are you going to eat that? No. Darn. Oh, won't. she's fast. <laughs> okay, so there are some on the side, so I'm going to add it. Um, and yeah, Glyn. <laughs> Glyn says, I wish I could be there to taste it when it's done. Mm, you'll see. Uh, right, so... Um, Jalyn says, I can't wait to make it. Yeah, it's... The thing is that we don't need to super mix it because otherwise the flour gets wet. It gets too integrated, so it doesn't go up very much. Uh, so does... Okay, as a super good tip. As you have seen, we have just mixed a little, I mean, well, but not, you don't whip it very, very, a lot, too much, right? too much because then it will be too much, okay? Anyway. And the butter comes last and it's melted and cool uh, and a bit cool right? yeah it's not hot it's yeah. we just melt it like a minute before we stirred it hola mat and then you hola patty what you size loaf cake oh we're uh, using okay that's a good one um hmm. 26 centimeters 26 centimeters per i think it's eight by eight which i sorry patty but i don't know uh, if uh, you do it in inches it's i don't know We'll write it down if it's, if somebody could do the math. This is 26 by eight. 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 Yeah, 10. 26 by 10. 26 by 10, okay. I've got a few, I've got a several, right? So you just mix it. Uh, so you've got a, a shiny. <laughs> <laughs> is that for me? <laughs> a shiny mixture, no, it's not for you. Please. Okay. Right, so. so uh, as you can see, it's already done. This is the... This oh, is, sorry, sorry, wait, 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 wait. You see, it's 20, 26. Tenemos un metro, si okay, I'll tell you. 10 inches, more or less. That's what Susana says. Okay, so it's uh, this is 11 centimeters, well, 10 centimeters by 25. 25. Okay. 
So this is a bit strange. 26 is about 10 inches. Okay, thank you. We put a baking uh, paper. Yeah, because otherwise it, it sticks. Uh, but. And then you find Francisco waiting for me to finish. Because this is, uh, I don't know the name in Spanish, but generally this kind of uh, thing is called a mendiant. That, that means that um, you don't waste anything. Delaine, thank you. So go for nine inches. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, don't make it too big because of, um, otherwise the cake is by the spread. Yeah. So here we always have a fight in this moment because I think she overcleans the bowl, which means there's no leftovers for me. Uh, <laughs> it's like, will you quit it? You don't need to take all of that. I do. <sighs> Otherwise my kids will go hungry. Oh no, they won't. Don't. Okay, so we have preheated the oven in 200 uh, Celsius degrees. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's something you have to know. And we will, be, I mean, we will put this in the oven at 200 for, I would say, about 7, seven to 10 minutes until it, there, there's, there is a crust on top and then we can cut it with okay. a knife. So right? let's, so now it goes directly into the oven. Yay! Yes, it's rectangular. Okay. I preheated wrong. <laughs> the oven. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Linda. <laughs> Linda, you are right. Spadulas clean the bowls way too much. It's like, where is the cleaning? Where is the leaking? It, it's not. It's not. It's not too clean. Come on. It's way too clean for it's me. It's not too clean, and it's dropping. Anyway. Mm, super good. I know. That's why I don't want to. Sh I, I don't like sharing these. Okay. Mm. Yo creo que Lucas querrá, eh? I don't care about this one. It's so good. Anyway, mm. should we give it to you, son? Yeah, I'll give it to you. Should I save it? Save yeah, it? You should save okay, it. Okay, but not all. No? Okay, I'm gonna save a little bit for my son. Yeah, save some for him. Muy bueno. Está super bueno. Okay, so, stop it. The boss says, stop it. So I stop. Okay. okay. So, mm, the cake, have you put the timer? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's say that the cake is already in the oven. My habit is the same when I make natilla. Mm. Hey, what is the job? She is a super chef. I'm just normally there. And then you're Mr. Proper. But, but he's... <laughs> But he's the, ¿cómo se llama eso? El testador. I'm the taster. I just make sure that it's healthy and it's okay. Anyway, okay, so okay. how do we decorate this cake? So we, we, okay. we want, we want to the forest. Is <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, a, okay, this, we, we, this Tuesday, I'm going to be going to a church, which is in the middle of, Nowhere. It's a beautiful, beautiful it's place. A super middle of nowhere, really. It's a church from the 12th century. I'm going to do the tour from there. And there's an amazing uh, altarpiece, Romanesque from the 10th century. It's like one of the most beautiful things ever. And that's what we're going to be doing this Tuesday. The thing is that on the way back, there were some... How do you call this? Mistletoe? Is this the mistletoe? No, mistletoe no. is when you, when you kiss. When you, it, that's not for kissing. No. That's just, that's... Anyway, so <laughs> this is, you know, it normally has some red berries or thingies. But thingies. The berries are a bit... Well, they're dry. Gone. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> holy. holy. We yeah, have, of course. It's written in all of our balls. The holy yeah, and the, the ivy. Yeah, the holy and the ivy. Anyway, so the holy, it's illegal to cut it in Spain. Because this is an endangered species. But as we were coming back to do the cooking class, I said... We need to cut a little bit because it's a Christmas thing and we bought it. We're illegal. Ah! And the flower shop was closed. Yeah, the flower shop was closed. It's Sunday. Anyway. Okay, so we, we put it back. Okay, darling? Yes, we'll put them back. We'll replant them. So, I would eat the cake like this. Simple, right? But... As a presentation, it's not... Maybe 
maybe for for a for a gift, you know, not so much. So what we are going to do is some um, glaze. Okay. You, Susanna, you're right. We found it on the ground. Not that I had a knife on my forehead, on my hand. <laughs> I have to try it uh, to make it so we, it we is have one poison. Home, actually. Deb, you're right. Somebody has to try it, so it's not poison. Anyway, so let's do the glazing. Okay, so uh, what, I have what, like one cup of, of powdered sugar, right? So um, we are going to add, let's say, about two tablespoons of orange, I mean orange juice. You lemon juice. orange juice, lemon juice, uh, lime juice, whatever. And we're going to mix it with, with a super mini whisk. So Patsy is asking how long does the cake go into the oven? The first thing, you put it about seven to eight minutes. And then 55 minutes. And then extra 55 minutes. But this and, eight... And, no, this, this first eight minutes at 200 uh, Celsius. Right? Uh, I don't know how many Fahrenheit. And then 155 Celsius for 55 minutes. Okay, so the thing is that we're going to show you why this eight minutes is so important. Okay, so you see. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Do I have, do I have a mailing address? Yes, Delaney. We'll, I'll write it to you. Uh, here, I will answer to you. Written. So, the glaze, it's done. It's just powder sugar mm, and a little bit of lemon and what we do is we just put it on top of here so it looks a little bit nicer mm. okay so I, I use this thing because it's got like a sorry a pouring uh, lead see okay wait 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 let's see um go <laughs> if it's too thick or too thin you just uh, reconsider the consistency of it. You add more sugar or more lemon juice, whatever. Right? I mean, the thing is that it really doesn't give much flavor. It just looks no, it's good. it's just for decoration and it, it, it allows the, the pistachios you have... to stick. Yeah, so it's like a glue. So the pistachios look super nice. Oh, mixing balls like that. Mary, you do these type of balls? Oh, gosh. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> uh, I know I know that I'm a freak for balls. Everything Ooh. white uh, porcelain, it's like my thing. White and blue porcelain, it's like... Well, he loves it, and then my son destroys it. Yeah, our son is like... So I love the look of all of that. So all the questions that you're writing, I always try to answer them on the feed. So it takes me about a day, so... Stick with me, I'll give you all the information that you are asking. The temperatures, the timings, and everything, I will put it again. Okay, so no problem. Okay. Let's leave it like that. Why? Yes, claro, it's not idea. Okay. So, this is how our cake, our Christmas cake, looks like. But please don't go yet because we have to. Do we have a website? We do have a website, but not a cooking website. We have a website of traveling website. Mm -hmm. Because remember that we told you that it is, it is beautiful, isn't it? I love the holy and the colors and the white and you know the brown and the pistachios. It looks so good. It, yeah, if you want the glaze to be thicker, you just add some more, some more sugar. Mm -hmm. um, just a bit, um, not anti-sugar, but... Merle. Merle. Mm. What's that? I don't know how, uh, Susanna, I'll give it a read in a moment. Okay, so uh, what, what we were, I know I was saying that it's very important that after these seven or eight minutes, you do this to the cake, because if not, it will not raise correctly. Yes. At no, at, at least not this cake, right? Okay. So it's a super easy cake, but the steps have to be followed. Otherwise, it's a bit messy. Yeah, so this is one of the cakes that you really have to be very precise and very follow the tempos and the whole thing okay so let me let us show you okay so uh, it will almost be ready in a i think we can go with this and so you see our reindeer okay Wait. so you what we are going to do so as you can see it's not done yet it's no, no, not no, cooked. but there is a crust and what a, we oh, do wait, wait, wait. So there we go 
is you cut it in the middle so it allows the cake to raise. Okay, déjame sacar un poquito. So, as you can see, it's just a cut in the crust that has been done during seven minutes, okay? So that is super, super important. And now you put it back in the oven, you lower the temperature to 155, yep. and you go for 55 more minutes. Okay, so that is... A we, yeah, we've tried different timings, but 55 is what works for this mold and this cake. So that's one of the things that you really need to take in consideration. Really cut the cake after seven or eight minutes and then uh, do the, the thing. Yeah, right. super good, huh? Super good? You tried it. I didn't. Anyway, I see that there are some questions going up. I will try to answer them tonight, okay? So we can uh, figure that out uh, because there are some questions about temperature and all of that. So, but pretty much that's all we wanted to share with all of you today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a few things. Uh, now Christmas is coming, so we think that these next two weekends we're it's not going to be no, doing gonna be cooking classes because we're going to be cooking for everybody at home. Maybe you can show them our... Yeah, I mean, we'll connect Christmas. live, but just yes, to show you what we're doing. Um, well, I'm going to try to do a couple of more things in Christmas, so stay tuned. If you don't receive my email, uh, please direct message me uh, your email and I'll keep you updated with everything we do. I mean, the Tuesday tours, the cooking classes, the posts I write on my blog, the whole thing, okay? What else? Well, you know that all of these uh, cooking classes are tip supported, so if you would like to leave us a tip, we'll be super thankful for that. You have our PayPal uh, link in the feed here. If you, you cannot share some money with us, we also love it. If you could please share the video so more people could see and learn a little bit about the Spanish traditions, okay? So thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, and well, what else? Feliz Navidad. Ah, Feliz Navidad. Okay. Y feliz 2022. Well, we'll, we'll see them before 2022. We will? Oh, yes, we will. So, Feliz Navidad, which means uh, Merry, Christmas Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, thank you very much for following us. We'll be letting you know what's going on in this You know this, I, I look very short. Okay. <laughs> well, you are a little bit short. Girl. No, no. Okay, put high heels. <laughs> anyway, our friends, thank you so much for following. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. All our love from our family to yours. Yeah, Lucas is around waiting for us to finish. Yeah, our son is like, is the cake done? Is the cake done? It's like licking the bone. Okay, everybody. take care. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Feliz Navidad.